Hey, what's up guys? I'm BTC. With the Halloween event, we got a different version of the Hollywood map that takes place at night and has lots of Halloween decorations throughout the map. After the Halloween event is over, this map will likely be taken out of the rotation, but it did bring up an interesting idea of having alternate styles for all the maps. I've seen it recommended that the map style should be determined by the time of day, so there would be a daytime and a nighttime version of all the maps. But I'm not really a big fan of this idea because some people only play during the day and others only play at night. So for most of us, we would only see one of the map styles anyways. A better idea would be to have multiple versions of a map that are randomly picked. So when you're playing a quick play or a competitive match and let's say Dorado comes up, it would basically be a 50-50 chance of getting either the nighttime or the daytime version. From a developer point of view, this sort of stuff is actually pretty simple. The hardest part of designing a new map is the balancing aspect of it. Making sure that the defenders have good spots for cover, and the attackers have multiple access points to the objective. Lots of little things, like making a wall taller or shorter, can drastically affect the balance of a map. But because all the stuff has already been done, and the maps have already been created, Making a different version of the map only requires changing the art assets. The trade-off, however, is that any time the Overwatch art team spends on making alternate versions of the existing maps means that they have less time to spend on new maps, new skins, new characters, and whatever else. So making alternate versions of the maps is pretty low priority. Jeff Kaplan, the game director for Overwatch, responded to the idea of alternate versions by saying, It's cool to hear you'd be interested in other maps getting a different time of day treatment. We'll keep that in mind. So I wouldn't expect anything anytime soon, but it's definitely something they might end up doing whenever they're able to. I also want to point out that alternate versions of a map don't need to be limited to simply a daytime or a nighttime version. For example, Eichenwald and Route 66 could have alternate versions that take place before all of the battles and all the damage occurred to the map. So you could get a more pristine version of Eichenwald or a Route 66 that didn't have the train wreck or maybe that when it's in its heyday where there's lots of activity or something like that. There would be certain limitations, of course, so that the balance of the map doesn't change, but there's a lot of possibilities. What kind of changes or alternate versions of maps would you like to see? Let me know in the comments section below, and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new content. But that's going to be about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and share it with your friends. Remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.